In Jules Verne's 1864 novel, Journey to the Center of the Earth, the characters descend into the crater of a volcano and discover that beneath the surface is a vast cavern with rivers, lightning storms, and even prehistoric animals. This makes for a good story, but what actually lies below the crust is the mantle, a solid layer of the earth made of a rock called peridotite. Scientists know this even though we've never actually been able to drill a hole to the mantle. This can be surprising considering we first tried to do this back in 1961. A scientific project is underway, a project called Project Mohole, which hopes one day to drill a hole through the crust of the earth and to find out what's down there. This project was eventually abandoned in 1966 due to the rising costs, but we haven't stopped trying. So why is it that mankind has not yet broken through the relatively thin crust of our planet to sample the mantle beneath? Well to start, we need to consider where we should drill. There are two possibilities, oceanic crust and continental crust. Oceanic crust is thinner than continental crust. It could be anywhere from 3 to 5 miles thick, whereas continental crust is from 15 to 40 miles thick. We have drilled deeply into the continental crust before. In the 1970s, the Soviet Union drilled the Kolo Superdeep borehole to a depth of over 7.5 miles. The project stopped due to the extreme heat that was reached at the bottom of that hole. In general, we see an increase in temperature of around 75 degrees Fahrenheit for every mile deep in the crust. So the deeper we drill, the hotter it gets. We can see that the Kola borehole is about 3 miles deeper than the average thickness of the oceanic crust. So if it had been drilled there, it would have made it well into the mantle. This thin crust is why the ocean is the best place to try and reach the mantle. So let's see what happened to the deepest hole ever drilled in the oceanic crust. To do oceanic drilling requires a drill ship. In 1979, the deep sea drilling project, using the research vessel the Glomar Challenger, started hole 504B. Over 13 years and 7 visits to the site, each lasting around 2 months, they were able to drill a hole nearly 7,000 feet into the oceanic crust. On the last visit, the hole was deepened a few hundred feet before a fault prevented it from being drilled any further. Drilling the mantle is clearly more difficult than we first imagined it to be in 1961. But the planners of Project Mohol, intent on finding out what's down there under the sea, believe that the obstacles can and will be overcome. Drilling through miles of solid rock in a drill ship floating over two miles of water is hard, but not impossible. We have the technology and ability to drill to the mantle, and maybe if we tried harder, we could do it. In 2015, the International Ocean Discovery Program started a new attempt at the mantle. It chose a unique spot in the Indian Ocean called the Atlantis Bank, where the oceanic crust is especially thin. They've already drilled over 2,600 feet, and there are plans to return to the hole in 2020 to finally break through the crust. So things are looking up for the scientists looking down.